Najua juzi mimi nipata shida sana. Na hii mnajua mnajua. Eh, nipata shida sana kutoka kwa serikali yangu. Mimi nilipinga finance bill. Mnajua? Eh, hey, I got a problem. Lakini ni kwa nini nilipinga finance bill? Mimi nilikuja hapa nikazuka kwa crowd hapa. Nikauliza watu wangu. Iko kitu hapa nenda kupiga. So, wakati watu walisema majimbo wewe ni mbunge wetu na kuamini. Hii finance bill ina itatuumiza. Na ni na kweli nikasoma vipengele fulani. Nikasema hapana. Hii tax regime itakuwa ngumu kwa watu wa Kenyans. Itakuwa ngumu. Ingekuwa progressive. Because tulikuwa na 8% kwa fuel. Kama tungeanza na ku change from 8% kwa mwaka wa kwanza tuweke 10%. Mwaka wa pili tuende 12%. Mwaka wa tatu tuende 14% na mwaka wa mwisho tuende 16%. Ingekuwa progressive like that. Kama unataka ume tuendelee kupata tax kila mwaka mpaka tu grow hao watu wenye wanatupea tax. Lakini tukikuja tu once tuachukue it becomes impossible. That's why wakati nisoma ile kasema hapana <laughs> hii sheria kwanza sitakubaliana nayo. Nilisema no. This financial bill itakuwa ngumu. Nikaipinga. Nilipata shida. Lakini watu yangu nyumbani hapa ambaye walinituma kaza majimbo don't accept with that finance bill it has issues and it will bring issues in the future i am very safe with my people now very safe Ali, uh, i am very safe in fact that's why that's why wakati walifanya info track <laughs> walipigaga watu simu wakauliza what is what huyu majimbo ni nani wanasema kwanza majimbo ni mwakilishi wa watu wa raia wa chini kwa ni sema pana Hii sisi hapa in Bungoma County Kapchai constituency sisi ni watu ya kufinya ugali chai kwa mkono. Eh? Kama unataka ukula ugali unameka kabisa na unafinya na unachota mboka unakula ugali mzito crate number 3. Na hii ugali crate number 3 aisee kwa aikuje kwa karatasi <laughs> ile imewekwa hodari inakuja kama imeenda kusiagwa kwa tinga eh? Inangunua hata sahimu ikawa hivi karibu utasikia tinga inaanza kuguruma kwa jirani hapa wanaona tinga inaanza watu wanasiaga ndio hiyo ugali kuja hapa to make it kule original credit 3 ambayo inashika tumbo hiyo ugali inashia kwa na tinga tinga inashiaka na mafuta wakati ile tulikuwa before tulikuwa tunasiaka mafuta tulikuwa tunasiaka kwa tinga korokoro moja shilingi 7 kwenda kuziaka ndio ikuje tukule saa hii inashiaka na 15 bob Unajua sasa hiyo that is the, 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 the impact now of the finance bill. Sasa huyo mtu wa chini kabisa mwenye akwa na siaka na shilingi 7. Sasa hii mpaka aende na 15. Hiyo ndio maisha ngumu inakucha chini hapa kabisa. So that life we must look for a way as a country. We must look for a way. And the only way to bring down the life ya watu wakwe sawa ni kuangalia mafuta. Let us let us bite our 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 let us bite our, 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 our good thoughts and look also and address the issue of fuel. If we can address the issue of fuel in Kenya, we will have addressed a million things in this country. There's a way we can address it. If, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy the way we are having the dialogue between uh, the, 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 the parts of the, the two, the, two, the Azimio and the Kenya Kwanza. We are all looking at one thing. We must bring life down. The life does not belong to me. I'm an, you remember, I'm on a member of parliament for five years. <laughs> I may be brought home if I don't perform. So there's nothing for me to have a serious thought that I must do this. No. Let us look at what Kenyans are talking about. The Kenyans down there are complaining that actually life is difficult. With this uh, hard life of food and everything, skyrocketing, farmers are not going. If farmers will go to farm, yes. But if you have a hard life, even school fees becomes a problem to members of parliament. If you come to your home on a weekend and you get around 200 students in your home, they all want fees. Those are the impact of hard life. So, in that, in that way, my brothers and sisters, I'm saying that as a country, we know we are working well. We have done well, very well. The president has done very well in fertilizer. And if somebody wants to support the, the president, by bringing corrupt deals in fertilizer. I am saying that man, as I talk today, he must be arrested. Because you are the one who is sabotaging the good work of the president, who wants to see food in this country. Number two, there are some ministers who are taking things on their own. Sasa hii ndiyo nasema, 
kasi ya mjumbe watu kukupenda ama kufanya kazi mzuri na inakuja na maana gani kukuwa na watu chini kuwauliza mimi nazunguka hapa kabichai chini kabisa wewe unasema unawezaje sema kuamka asubuhi wewe ni waziri wewe si mjumbe wewe uwakilishi watu rais amekupatia kazi ya kuangalia kazi na unaamka unasema kuanzia kesho kitambulisho kipotea shilingi 2000 wewe kija yako itakuwa inafanya kazi eh Unaamuka unasema kesho kwenda kupata kitambulio ni shilingi elfu moja. Kwanza ujue what is an identity card katika nje hii. Sisi ni wakilishi wa Kenya. Mimi ni mwakilishi wa wananchi. Nilipikwa kuna wananchi. Kitu ya kwanza ni kutetea sheria. Katiba ya Kenya inasema Kenya mpaka mwana Kenya mpaka akue mwana Kenya. Na wewe unakuwa citizen wa Kenya kwa sababu ulisaliwa Kenya. Ununui kuwa Kenyan. Sasa ukiweka price kwa one to become a Kenyan because na uwezi kuwa mwana Kenya kama una kitambulisho